Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Chris. Um, I'm going to run through a couple things on my Kemper and my Helix. So what I'll do, I'm going to run the Helix first. And I didn't want to let you guys know which was which, but this I'm getting bleed on my AB switch. So I can't do a true comparison without touching these side by side anyway. So I'm just going to start by running my Helix. And I suppose if I put the tuner on this, that'll quiet that down. So we'll start with the Helix. Um, what I have on my Helix is a clean patch, a clean with chorus, a kind of broken patch, a crunch rhythm patch. and then a lead patch. So, again, the clean. Here's my clean with chorus and delay. Here is my kind of broken Now this is a channel I like to cut my volume on It's on the neck pickup. Volume's way down here. It is with the volume up. So you get a little bit too much distortion. Um, to my uh, crunch rhythm. This is the lead on my Helix. So now we'll switch to the Kemper and do the same thing. I'll kill the Helix volume, take this off the tuner. Bear with me for two seconds here. Here's the clean on the Kemper. with chorus and delay. And this does actually clean up very well. I just...
here is the kind of broken-y stuff. Same thing. We'll... Switch it to the bridge. Switch it to that crunchy rhythm. the Kemper. Now, bear with me, this is the actual lead. kind of fell into this by accident, but if you want a great Zach Wilde tone, this is another one of those that it just nails. Um, here's a little Zach Wilde. You just put a little chorus on that. want to keep the Kemper like but I don't know that I have a great use for it it's I don't think it's as practical of a machine as the helix as far as my everyday tones like the stuff the helix does it just does very well um, but I do love like you know the roll-off quality on it is amazing <laughs> some cool it's got some cool qualities to it but um, a lot of money and I don't know that it's better like I can tell you physically it's not better the helix I love the pedal I love all the you know the the interaction you have with your helix is so much better than what you can do with the camper like it's just visual it's good I like it um, but I do like the big guitar tone. So if you like that big Ozzy sound, it's got it nailed. Um, you know, you turn off a couple other things. It's, it's got great separation too is the other thing. So, 
mean, it's got good. You can hear every note. So, I mean, it's it's got a cool... It, it feels like an amp. That's, the, you know, that's what the Kemper's got going for it, is it sounds and acts like an amp. Um... The Helix just sounds like a really good representation of an amp, like it, like a finished product. So the the Kemper definitely has a more raw feel, if that's what you're looking for. The Helix definitely has a far more finished heel or uh, feel to it. So uh, you know, like if we switch these back again. there's absolutely nothing wrong with that tone it's it's a great you know it's a great tone it's just it's just different I guess it'd help if I turn them up a little bit that actually compares them a little better doesn't it so I mean you get some cool you get some cool shit either way. I gotta quit swearing. You get some cool, uh, you know, you get some cool sounds either way. They're great, but I having a hard time picking which one. And I can tell you right now, my go-to right now is the Helix because it's dependable. It has never let me down at a gig as far as when it gets to the gig, it sounds just like it does here. This thing, on two different occasions now, I've taken it to gigs, plugged it in, and went, "What the heck? This sounds like crap." So you know, you spend all day. 20 hours dialing this thing in between two days prior to taking to a gig and then you get there and it sounds horrible whereas this thing almost on day one sounded great and I just tweaked them took notes and then tweaked it and took notes tweaked it um, this was like worked it for a whole couple days before took it to the gig the only note I took was none of these patches will work try something new so we tried something new the next day none of these patches will work try something new so that's kind of where I landed on these ones, and they seem to be pretty reliable. But you know, I can't I can't say that I like one better than the other. You cannot get this heavy tone. You know, the the Helix does not do this very well. It just doesn't. Um, even with the Rev, it's still hard to get that big ballsy crunchy That sounds hard to beat. I wish I could have this inside this, and then I'd be super happy, but I can't take both of them. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see anything different. Sorry, I got something in my eye. If you want to see a video made with something, if you want to hear side-by-side -side comparisons, whatever, let me know. Thanks for watching.